what's going on guys welcome back in this video we're going to go over gta 5 online's weekly update running from january 12th 2023 to january 19th so if you guys are looking for the money making methods of the week as well as the sales and things like that this video will be covering all of that starting us off with this week's podium vehicle the jester rr you guys can head on over to the casino spin the wheel for a chance to win this vehicle this week definitely a nice vehicle with a nice livery which i definitely recommend you guys go ahead and try to win for free as well at Les santos carmi we have this week's prize ride the cara cara 4x4 and to win this nice truck you guys have to place top three in ls carmi races five days in a row so that's pretty simple you guys can go ahead and get this vehicle for free just by simply completing that challenge and that will bring us to the sales of the week and it's going to be quick and short we have the karen previon you guys can go ahead and get this for a discount of 30 percent along with the vapid dominator asp is 30 percent off and last but not least on southern san andreas super autos we have the dinka rt 3000 and all three of these vehicles again are 30 percent off this week as well for our business sale of the week we have the bunker at 30 percent off so if you guys have been waiting to get a bunker now would be a decent time to go ahead you're gonna get 30 percent off the bunker itself as well as its renovations as always i always recommend the chumash bunker location or the farmhouse depending on your preference i personally enjoy the chumash location so definitely go ahead and either move bunkers now or buy a new bunker as it is one of the better passive money making methods in the game and wrapping us up for the sales of the week we have the sultan rs so if you have the sultan you guys can go and get the rs variant upgrade from benny's original workshop and you guys are going to get a 40 percent discount on the upgrade which is really nice because these upgrades are not cheap so getting that 40 percent off now while well, you can is really nice and this vehicle turned out to be really nice i ended up dripping it out in the classic princess bubblegum anime thing so i thought that was pretty funny definitely recommend this upgrade while it's on sale if you're into that type of vehicle and now we have something really new to gta 5 online the daily gun van is now available you guys can go ahead and check this location in the top right hand corner of the map near the palmer taylor power station on the right hand corner of the map you'll see a van if you go to this location you'll be able to buy special weapons and stuff from this van so that's pretty awesome you go up to the gun van you can see this beautiful bald guy here and you'll be able to buy weapons the two weapons that a lot of people are going to be interested in is the combat shotgun as well as the rail gun now i've been waiting for the rail gun to be added to the game for a very long time and i'm glad to see that they finally added it thank you rockstar for adding this rail gun to the game it always bugs me when there's items in the game that you can't buy or earn that i know exists so the rail gun is one of those items as well as you can buy molotovs from this guy so that's really nice as well so you guys want to go ahead and check that out if you want those weapons or are interested in any of those throwables speaking of weapons that will bring us in our two times money and rp money making method we have custom community money making methods so there's seven new community series modes that you guys can go ahead and complete i ended up doing the red 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 team deathmatch unfortunately it is really hard to find people to play any of the community game modes so keep that in mind you might not find someone and if you do you might be paired up with an opponent that's trying to make money of course trying to get better at the game but unfortunately i got paired up with someone that wasn't near my skill level unfortunately so i ended up absolutely decimating the guy and he ended up leaving near the end of the game so i only ended up getting paid fourteen thousand dollars and three thousand two hundred rp and that's the reality of these community modes especially if there's low population this is something you're going to have to expect to happen on a regular basis bring us to our next money making method we have 1.5 times money on the first dose missions so you guys can go ahead and recomplete those if you have already completed them or complete them right now to get that six by six brigade and acid lab business and all that you guys can go ahead and complete these missions very simply um, as well as it looks like there's going to be a bonus for those that complete the six by six first dose welcome to the trope designated driver fatal incursion uncontrolled substances make war not love and off the rails if you complete i think it's the first six of these missions you guys are going to get yourself a little bit of a bonus and it's really important that you have to beat them on the hard difficulty to unlock these variety of exclusive awards 
So definitely go ahead and check that out. And I ended up making $24,000 and 3,800 RP. I would not recommend these to be completely honest with you. If you guys are trying to grind money, there are way better methods in the game right now. With that being said, that will bring us to this week's time trial. We have the Calafia Way time trial. This is a regular time trial. You guys have this on all versions of GTA 5 Online. You'll see that I'm using the Hayokucho Drag. I highly recommend you guys follow the path I'm taking. There are little shortcuts that I didn't take, but there are different ones that I did take in this video. So the Hayokucho Drag, I have it on the HSW variant, which makes this time trial a lot easier. I took me two attempts in the first attempt honestly I crashed at the very end I don't know why and you'll see that I have a lot of time left over the thing to remind yourself of, about this time trial is that there are a lot of weird turns that when you're catching up speed you're not going to be able to make the turn properly so you might want to slow down before the turn especially if you have a high accelerating vehicle like this one it's not going to punish you too much if you break and there are a lot of vehicles I found that spawned in weird, like just after a turn locations. So that's really, really annoying. So when you're just making a turn and there's a vehicle, they put a vehicle there. So hopefully you crash. So just keep that in mind. And you just want to follow the path I'm taking. It's really easy. Honestly, I don't have much to tell you guys other than take your time. It might take you a few attempts. It only took me two. So it should take you anywhere from maybe two to five attempts if you have an HSW. If not, it might take you a little bit longer. But you see, I earned myself $100,000 and I beat the part time by like 10 seconds so really easy time trial for you guys to go ahead and complete this week and that will bring us into the HSW time trial this week and it's the HSW Sandy Shores time trial you're gonna definitely want to follow the way I take here it's definitely the better way to take in my opinion so simply you're gonna follow the destination you're gonna set up the time trial as usual and put your waypoint on the destination like I do for all time trials and then restart the time trial by holding one why then you'll have a waypoint for you guys to follow which is really nice because you give you that GPS guidance and you'll notice that I'm staying on the road I'm not going on the dirt path or anything like that for this HSW time trial very important that you guys have top speed and you see I completely braked for that turn and I'm already almost at top speed again that's the benefit to having these vehicles or a high accelerating vehicle and you'll see that I'm staying to the right of the road or to the shoulder of the road for majority of this staying on that white line because I know no vehicles are going to be merging into the shoulder the likelihood of that is very low comparatively to them making a lane change or something like that again I'm fairly comfortable with driving in the middle of the road so you'll see me do that as well but you'll see I really like to hold this white line because I know it's generally safe for me to do so Something to keep in mind is don't go like robot zombie mode when doing this because you're like, oh, I'm on the white line. It's safe. And then all of a sudden there's like a barrier or something like that, like a median separator. And what that does is it ends up letting you crash because you weren't paying attention. And I accidentally did this. I'm like, oh, I'm on the white line. I'm safe and crash and had to restart near the end of the time trial, which really, really sucked. And if you're gaining too much speed that you find that the game isn't keeping up with your speed, and I know this is a huge problem on Xbox One and uh, older consoles, you will want to just slow down a little bit. Like it's really not worth not being able to see what you're doing to be at that top speed. And you see, I don't follow the waypoint there. I go straight ahead so I can keep my speed. I break up a little bit because I was kind of confused on what I was doing for a second there. But since you're watching this, you guys won't be confused. You guys can just go straight towards the arena and you'll see I slow down because I have so much time. I have like, like 20 seconds left um, right now. So I'm really in no rush. Ended up being in time trial with like so much time. I uh, definitely recommend you guys go ahead and complete this because you're going to get $250,000 as usual. If you liked the video, I know that was a lot. Please do drop a like on the video as well as consider commenting anything I missed. As always, thanks for watching.